Welcome everybody. Tervetuloa. Welcome. We are now here in Helsinki at the Music Institute of Capula in Capula where also these these art pieces behind us they are actually made by the Music Institute students. So we are in the very heart of of teaching and learning music here. So we are most delighted to come and thanks for the invitation. My name is Elisa and my name is Maya. And we are going to invite you the Nordic sounds and games. So please just join us whenever you feel so, of course. Mm. The first song is welcoming song. And we have Kanteles here, the Finnish national instruments. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> nice to be here. magical singing language doesn't actually mean anything but you can play with your tongue and say this also there is more Everybody, Lori Alalay. Welcome, welcome, everybody, Lori Alalay. We are here to play together, Lori Alalay. We are here to play together, Lori Alalay. Dance together, Luria Lay. Let us sing and dance together, Luria Lay. Welcome, that was welcoming song from Finland. And like I said, there is a lot of nonsense words that we use in singing. Yeah. Also in many Nordic countries we share this and actually worldwide we share the same thing. Sometimes the singing language is magical. Today we sing in many languages from Nordic countries and also of course in English. Uh, okay, so first we go... Uh, to counting. Oh, I, I thought maybe we count the strings of Kantele first. Because this is very uh, basic Kantele size. All the children in Finland play this size Kantele in schools. And it has specific number of strings. It's actually called the number string Kantele. Let's count first. One, two, three. Four, five, and there are strawberries, blueberries, and cloudberries. So, 
strawberry cord, blueberry cord, and cloudberry cord. Oh, so now we counted five strings, and it's called five string kantele. We continue counting, but we change the language. So now we count in Swedish. It, two, three. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, it, two, three. What if you change the fingers? Mm, they come from this side, maybe. It, two, three. What if you take just random fingers like this? The order is very random. I don't know. <laughs> Let's try. It, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> well, how is your hand? Is it different? Let's try one more time. Very random numbers, or not numbers, but random fingers. Your choice. It, two, three. Wow, very good. So in this song it happens like this. Et, two, tre. Et, two, tre. Et, two, tre. Et, two, tre. Ram, ta, da, i, ram, ta, i, ra, da, da, i, ram. Et, two, tre. Triam, ta, da, i, ram, ta, i, ram, ta, i, ram. Et, two, tre. And then faster. Yam, ta, da, da, i, ram. Et, two, tre. Tra, i, ra, da, da. Okay, I had very Bramtaraira improvised singing, but there are also words. This is Miller's dance, and in Swedish it's Mullaridansen, and in Finnish it would be Mullarin tansi. These are quite similar words. Mullari, 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 Miller, Miller. Our languages are so similar sometimes. Not always. Not always. <laughs> Let's try. Ha di dan sammelare dansen et two tre. Ha di dan sammelare dansen et two tre. Sammelare dansen et two tre. Sammelare dansen et two tre. Et two tre. Sammelare dansen et two tre. Sammelare dansen. Oh, so many fingers. Let's try to just clap when I count the numbers, okay? Here we go. Hardy dance, some melody dancing. Et, two, three. Hardy dance, some melody dancing. Et, two, three. Melody dancing. Et, two, three. Melody dancing. Et, two, three. Okay, special task for you. Can you stand up and always jump when I clap my hands? Okay, ready? Stand up. Very good, you are so talented. So now we continue a little bit more with this. This is a special thing again. So it's imitation. First I do something and then you repeat. So, ready? We start from here. <laughs> One and two and then we go. Your turn. Another imitation. I do something and you copy me after, and then we clap again. Okay, ready? 
What could I do? Very well done. Thank you for this. I went to swim. I don't know. It just came to my mind. I wanted to swim. In the summer, I'm going to swim. Now it's a little bit too cold for me. Okay, so we leave the miller's house, but we go back to the farm where we actually came from. And there we have a horse. It's a special horse. Yeah. Yeah, it's a working horse. It's a Finnish working horse. Very, very strong. And he knows some very good commands, like how you can command this horse. If you do like this, it, yeah, you can do it. Oh. Very good. So then it will run faster. So be careful with that one. So, and then if you want to have him going very slow or slow down, you do like that. And then you can hold a bit. Yeah. So we can make it faster or slower. And there is one more trick that you can practice there. I bet you are quite good. Make the same sound with your tongue that I do with the instrument. So. Can you do this? Wow. Okay, that's good tempo. Let's go slow. And in this song, actually, we sing that the horse, horse is hevonen. In this song, the horse has wings. It can be very fast. It's like a wind. It can fly with the wings. Mulla on hyvä hevonen ja sillä on kuin siivet. Sillä on kuin siivet. Sillä on kuin siivet. Mulla on hyvä hevonen. Sillä on kuin siivet. Sillä on kuin siivet. Okay, we can make it faster. Do you remember how it was? Yeah. Hoi! Mulla on hyvä hevonen. Maya, this is a little bit fast. How do we make it slower? Very good. This is nice. You can come to sing with us. Mulla on hyvä hevonen. Nice horse because it it just do, do what we wish, <laughs> how we wish. You were very good with the horse. Okay, once it it's not that long time ago, maybe a couple of years ago, we went to a trip to Denmark with Maya. It was yes. lovely trip. It was so lovely. Yeah, yeah. and and we found a forest in Denmark. And yes, there's not so many forests left in Denmark. Yeah, so this yeah. was very particular forest yeah. and we went for a walk. Yeah. 
it was moonlight mm. and a lot of snow. That's also quite rare. But that time, that winter was really, really, really cold. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And the moonlight was all over the forest. In between the trees, we could see this magical landscape. And then we saw something really, really, really special. And Maya, you had your camera. Yes, I always carry my camera with. And I got a very good shot. Yes, Maya took this picture. Oh, and look! What do you see? Ah, oh, there is... Here we have a wolf, and then a fox, and then a rabbit. A wolf, and a fox, and a rabbit. And they are holding hands. Mm. They are dancing. And dancing! <laughs> dancing in the snow, and you know, I think they are very good friends. They look like they like each other. Look. And they enjoy dancing together. So after we, we also walked out the forest, we heard the song. There is a song about them. And let's try out. I saw a wolf, a fox, a rabbit. Yes. I saw a wolf, a fox, a rabbit. Yes, I did. What did you see? I saw a wolf, a fox, a rabbit. I saw a wolf, a fox, a rabbit. They were together dancing. Mit i vintern skulle sne, så jag en ulf, en rau, en hare. Mit i vintern skulle sne, så jag dem danse alla. Niipä 
And we left, we, we left them dancing alone. And we continued our trip home. By the way, Maya, you yeah. need to maybe mention, what is the instrument in your hands? Well, this instrument is called in Finnish jouhikko. It's boat harp, very old from the Middle Ages, is this type of instrument. And in this uh, bow, I have horse hair. Oh, and they, also me too. Yeah, you too. And also these strings are made of horse hair. And that w that's where the, comes the name Jouhikko in Finnish, because this is named Jouhi in Finnish. Mm -hmm. So we have similar bows. Yes. Right. They are it's quite a bit longer. Yes. Yeah. They are very nice. And the instrument that I have in my hands, this is the modern nykkelharppa, key fiddle from Sweden. So now we have had instruments from Finland and Sweden and yeah, let's, let's continue. So we came, we came back from the trip to Denmark, we came back home. And in our home there was our dear dog, dog called Leila. Yeah. Ah. Leila is the name of my dog. <laughs> let's see, Maya is knocking on the door. Mm -hmm. There are four different uh, options where she might find Leila. Okay. So, can you show the four doors? There Here's is one, the one, second, third, and the fourth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now you can come and knock the door. Uh, is the dog at home? No, no, no. The dog went to theater. He really likes musicals. Is the dog at home? No, 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 no. This time she went to library. <gasps> is the dog at home? No. Today is the laundry day. She went to do his her laundry. Okay. Is the dog at home? <laughs> <laughs> the dog was at home. I hope you didn't. <laughs> I wasn't scaring you too much. But the dog was there. Okay, it's my turn to knock the door. Wish me luck. There are four options again. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Is the dog at home? No, she's in the forest. Mm, okay. Is the dog at home? No, she went swimming. Oh, surprising. Okay. Is the dog at home? No, she's a dentist. Oh, <laughs> very good. <laughs> okay. Uh oh. Is the dog at home? <laughs> the dog was home. Okay, oh, yeah. my finger. <laughs> no, it's fine. Now it's your time to turn uh, to try out. So if you are at home with somebody, please try out. The other one is the houses, and the other one is asking if the dog is in the house. And we play a little background music for you to play your game. Is the dog at home? Onko koira kotona? In Finnish. Did you hear in the music that dog was parking? How, how, 
ho, 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 ho. That's how our dog Layla is barking. But she's very, very, very nice. And she does it with a very soft sound. How, 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 how. And sometimes when Layla gets tired and when I'm tired myself, I play these sweet sounds for him or for her to go to sleep. And this is one of her favorite instruments. Listen. someone in the house or just swing this is a lullaby from Norway and we are again with the magical words the singing words sulla rulla doesn't mean anything particular but those are calming sounds and the singing language from Norway. supposed to sleep come back come back now we make a little rhythm games with you while the dog is sleeping we can still make some games and there are some challenges also for myself make the rhythm first we start with the beat everybody um, and the beat is like uh, this and we stay in Norway. This song is quite famous among the children in Norway. 
This is a song that spreads from school to another and from kindergarten to another among the children. This is children's song. You come with me to the beat. I talked about the challenges, so now the rhythm changes a little bit. Well, not the rhythm, but the hands. So we alternate. challenge because you are so good in this. Mmm, we go quite fast like this. Oh, oh. Mm. Okay, you think it's easy? Okay, let's add something. The fourth challenge. Oh, oh, it's like this. Yay! Okay, the fifth challenge is actually, yeah, this is very nice sound. Whoa, this is exciting challenge because now you're going to invent your own rhythmical sequence from your body. You can find very interesting sound. Where is good sound? And make your own rhythm. I don't know where's mine. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh, your own style. One, two, three, four. So, so, Wow, fast. that was yeah. fast. What shall we do with our hands when they have been so nice to us and very fast? We can blow them a bit and give a little kiss. No, that's so nice. It's good also for your brain and everything to get this active here. Okay, so now we were in Sulfallerala game, uh, children's game from Norway. And also, I forgot to mention that we were again with this secret language. Uh. This very, very special singing language. So, falleralla. It doesn't. What? Does it mean something? No. It really yeah. doesn't. But it's very, very fascinating singing language. Yeah. And it's very famous singing language in Nordic countries and been there for a long, long time. Maybe you can also compose your own Falleralla song in, in the house. Hmm. Falleralla la 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 something, what comes from you. It's so natural sounds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Falleralla, but Sul, it does mean something. Mm -hmm. It's sun, Sul, sun. And in Finnish, do you want to hear a secret? because there are not that many people in the world who know what Sul, the sun, is in Finnish. It's a very yes. beautiful word. Yeah, and very different. Yes. Okay, let's uh, go for that. Yeah. It's Aurinko. 
Four times. Yeah. Aurinko. 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 And if you do ten times more, then you will remember it for a long time. <laughs> Very important word, uh, especially when the spring is coming. Uh, okay, today we have yeah. still one task. Yes. Very important. Yeah. I was wondering, should we first introduce some instruments? Let's do that. Yeah. Yeah. I think we have used very many instruments this time, and I'm not sure if you know everything. Kantele mm -hmm. we introduced. Yeah, you can show one more time. Yeah. Kantele is this like was this. was kantele. A small one. With five strings. Mm -hmm. They are different sizes. In a big kantele, there can be over 36 strings. It's more than my fingers. Yes, yeah, yeah. and, and more than my fingers and toes together. Yeah, yeah. it's really... Wow. Mm -hmm. So, what other instruments had strings? Ah, we had string instruments. This was... this is ukulele. Maybe familiar for you. Nowadays, very famous instrument. And lot... It's used a lot in schools. Mm -hmm. And this one. What is that one? This is a harp. Mm -hmm. Also, there's very many different sizes in harps. And this has maybe 25 strings. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. I didn't come. Then. Can I do one oh, yeah, like yeah, this? Yeah, do. Please, let's do it. Ready? It's like the, the beginning of the story. Yeah. Once upon a time. Oh, any story can yeah. begin. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you had harp. Yeah. And me too. I also had a harp. Did you see it? It's here. Mm -hmm. oh, ho, ho. It's this one. Nykkelharppa. The key fiddle. But harp actually is the same as mm. harp. Okay, so it has these keys here. But what I think I had something that I played it played with. This is a bow. So then the sound comes from here. Yeah, it's lovely. It has a nice echo. Yes, it has echo because it has very special strings here. Resonating strings. <gasps> it's the most beautiful instrument, I know. Twelve strings. Plus four big ones. A lot Ooh, of tuning. Twelve plus four. Oops. Oops. Maybe in sixties. Well, I told you already this is Yohik. Yes. Beautiful thing. Yeah. And then and you had that one. Then I had also this one. Maybe quite many of you have this at home, a little bit smaller maybe. But this is a recorder. Mm -hmm. hmm. Nokkahuilu. It's in Finnish like a nose flute. Can you play it? Okay, not today. <laughs> <laughs> not with my nose, no. No. But it's the shape, shape of this uh, part of the flute, which looks like a nose. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> and then I had this big black box. Yes. Accordion. Yeah. It is a lovely thing. Yeah. Can I randomly push some bottom? Yes. Let's please. see what happens here. What if I very there in the low one? So that's the bass side. Yes. Yeah, you can find bass and chords. And then mm -hmm. my right hand is playing melodies from here. Do you want to try? The high one? Is this the high uh, one? No. It sounds low. It's low. What if... The opposite. Okay. So down is high and high is low. Yeah, it's really high. Yeah. Together. And what is most important in accordion is the bellow. Because without it, nothing comes. So yeah. these are like lungs, lungs of the accordion. So you need to... Yeah, I need air to make it ring. Yes, yeah. it's so lovely. Mm. 
that's all what we had. Yeah. So we have still one very important task for everybody to do. So in my house we have this. This is a this is a tip for you to you can try to guess what is this about. Um, we go there every Wednesday and Saturday evening. Sometimes Sunday morning, many times also Mondays. We also might use it on Thursday and Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> you need to heat it up so that you can mm. enjoy it. Mm. Mm. What are we talking about? Sauna. sauna. Let's heat up the sauna. First we put some wood and some fire to the wood. Ooh, here, no? Okay. And then we can actually start just waiting. Take some time to wait. Hmm. But when the stones of sauna starts to get hot, then we throw the water to the stones. And let's try. Mm. Maybe we have one more kantele in this. Oh, we do. Yes. Let's take the bigger one. Mm. Because it's sauna time. Hoi, hoi, hoi. Hoi, hoi, hoi. Hoi, hoi, hoi. Hoi, hoi, hoi. Who will ever heat the sauna? Who will ever heat the sauna? Elisa will always heat the sauna. Elisa will always heat the sauna. Hoi, hoi, hoi. Hoi, hoi, hoi. So I try. I throw some water to the stones. The sound of the steam is still very little. I think this is about 40 degrees, but we yeah. aim to mm. 75. Yeah, we need more. Mm. Okay, let's wait some more. Who will ever hit the sauna? Who will ever hit the sauna? Hit the sauna, Maya will always hit the sauna. It's your turn. Hmm. A little bit more, so this was like 60. Maybe 62. Maybe. 62. Yeah. Maybe my grandfather would have liked yeah, this. Yeah. We need a little bit yes. more. Mm -hmm. So, who would help us? Who could help us? You can help us. Ha! So, the children, you can help us. Hoi, 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 Who will ever hit the sauna? Who will ever hit the sauna? The children will always hit the sauna. The children will always hit the sauna. Hoi, 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 hoi. Now grab the water from here, maybe even the basket, full basket of water and throw it, we'll see. Wow, it's quite hot here. It burns. Oh, yeah, it's very hot. Wow, you were so clever at hitting the sauna. Maybe you can even sing one more time the song in Finnish. In this very old language. Kuka saunan lämmittääpi? Kuka saunan lämmittääpi? Kuka saunan lämmittääpi? Kuka saunan lämmittääpi? Maybe one more time. Kuka saunan lämmittääpi? Kuka saunan lämmittääpi? Kuka saunan lämmittääpi? Kuka saunan lämmittääpi? Hoi, oi, oi. Hoi, oi, oi. Mm. There is very nice, nice, moisturous sauna here. What we need in sauna is a special thing. Mm. And we have a picture of this. Ha. So here you can see the branches of the birch and they are tied up, tied up with the string 
And so it looks like a bucket of flour, but it's like the birch leaves and branches. And guess what we do in sauna? This is amazing. We put this thing to the basket of water. And it gets very wet. And then we take it up. And we start like a little bit softly hitting ourselves with the leaves, with the branches. And it feels really good. We call this vihta. And this is how we use it. Here all over the place and the skin smells then very good and feels very nice. Ay, yeah, yeah, you can try or you can maybe roll with the paper your own vihta and do this to yourself and maybe to your friend. Haka alla pyörä päällä. 
Yeah, what a nice sauna trip. The last song actually is uh, is a song that my grandmother sang to my mother and my mother sang it to me and I've been singing this song to my child. Mm -hmm. One of the most famous lullabies from Finland. Tulin pitkin Turun tietä. What is this story about? Mm. Mm. It's to grab your baby for a very tight um, and cozy and safe um, thing. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Yeah. And to have it safe and to have and hold and grow mm. with the song. And we wish that you also, all of you, grow with the songs and with the secret language of singing that can be even nonsense or any Nordic sounds also. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So thanks for joining us today. We had a welcome song, Möllare Dansen, a Hevonen song from Finland, and then we went to Denmark with Ulf Revo Haare, and then we came back to Finland with the dog house game and then we sang a lullaby from Norway, Sulla Rulla and then Sulfalara, a game for the children from Norway and then we ended with the three songs from about sauna mm. from Finland. Uh, we hope that you enjoyed the time with us. We enjoyed. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you, <laughs> Maya. <laughs> well, and on behalf of Vesterheim, I can say I guarantee we all enjoyed it. This was just delightful. You are magical. The music was wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for taking us all over Scandinavia in one hour. Just amazing. Just amazing. I often get to be the one on screen who gets to smile and thank the guests, but I also want to thank everybody at Bethlehem who worked behind the scenes to make programs like this possible. Uh, collections, exhibitions, development, accounting, communication, and marketing teams, thank you for everything that you do to help. We do have just a couple questions that have come in, so can I throw those to you? Do you have time? Yes. Most welcome. Yeah. Okay, the first question is somebody asked more about sauna -ing in Finland. How often do you do it? Is this something you do at home? Do you go other places for it? It is not as common here in America, and so... <laughs> We want to know more. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, uh, all the Finns uh, has some connection to sauna. And many people have sauna at home, like I do. Mm, I also. Yeah, even even block of flats, they build saunas. Every apartment. Yeah. And some people like to go to sauna every night, every day. And some once a week, twice a week. It depends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I have heard that there are more saunas than cars in Finland. Wow. So this is quite something <laughs> I would say. Mm. That is amazing. Yes. That is excellent. Another question that we got is what was the very first instrument that each of you learned? Ah, oh. what an interesting oh. question. I think my first instrument, I got a melodica as a Christmas present when I was four, mm -hmm. I think. That wow. was maybe the first. And that's the one where you blow, but it looks like there's a keyboard yeah, attached yeah. to it, a melodica. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm I'm the fifth child in my family, whereas children are seven. So I think we had a lot of instruments when I was born. So I already had instruments in my hands when I, I got to crap something. So that's the beginning. And then I started to play. I think Kantele was my first music play school instrument. That's very typical here in Finland mm. still. So even yeah. in this classroom where we are at the moment, the children also play Kanteles. Mm. Because Kanteles in Finland are similar to recorders in the United States, where it's the one that every child learns in elementary school. Yeah, and the recorder was also in Finland. Like I okay. started the recorder at school, but the, uh, the Kantele has uh, come a little bit later. And, uh, and took like, it over. Took it over. <laughs> it was actually a campaign to get mm -hmm. the Kantele to every school. 